need me to turn off St. Nick here, you let me know. I know he's a little noisy. I'll be sad, but I'll do it for you. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for being here today. This is a fun project. Happy July 1st. Rachel, it's July 1st. Can you believe it? I can't. I've been waiting for July. So we're doing this fun uh, Christmas and July themed birthday party, and we have uh, talked about this before when the cut files launched. We went through the projects, but we're going to go through them again. Maybe we have some viewers that weren't here last time, so we definitely want to give some in-depth information about these projects. Also, we have some cute snacks that we're going to talk about. Um, I mean, how adorable is he? I wish I could tell you that I came up with that myself, but I totally like stole that from Pinterest, along with most other things in my life. <laughs> but um, so that's fun. And so we're talking about food. I have a cute little project that is a great idea if you're throwing a um, Christmas in July party. So we're going to just quickly do a little project at the end of this. But um, I can't see any of your comments. I can't see who's here. Rachel can, and she is going to interrupt me. With, like, I'm very happy that she is. But she's going to interrupt me to let me know what you guys are saying, if you have questions and all that fun stuff. So if you have questions, just help me. It's totally fun. Let's start with Santa and why I use Santa today. So guys, have you ever done like um, balloon bouquets for birthday parties? They're insanely expensive. They're a pain in the butt to have filled up. They're a pain to transport. They don't last long. Um, and I don't know. I mean, balloons are fine. Don't get me wrong. I do love balloons. But if you can have a thematic blow up Santa, then why not? And he was like $20, walmart.com, it was $20, and I can use this again. So I feel like that was a fantastic investment, and he makes a really fun statement. The cool thing about Christmas in July, in my opinion, is that you can use a lot of decor that you already have from home. So, you know, you, if I wanted to do like Christmas lights up here, I already have that. If I wanted to do a garden light, I already have that. So definitely take the things that you already have, already decorate with, and totally utilize them. It makes decorating for this type of Christmas party in July <laughs> a whole lot more affordable. So that's fun. Anyway, we started there, and uh, I don't know if you saw it or not, but on the front of our um, island here, we have a print and cut birthday banner, so that is using all of Maker's Gonna Learn cut files. We do have a font there in the middle, and uh, Rachel sh showed you, um, for the Happy Birthday Bex Oaks, and it's just print and cut. Print and cut on 120 pound card stock, so it's really good and sturdy, and then we hot glued it uh, to some, you know what? I call it butcher's twine, but I think it's called baker's twine. Um, that may be macrame. I don't know. It's been a while. Whatever it is, it's cute. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. I this one is. Yeah, yeah, this one is. Baker's twine. Yeah. That's baker's twine. So this is like a mini one, right, Becca? Yeah, it's a little bitty mini. It's one. literally the cutest thing so ever. I originally made it mini because on the live I knew that I wouldn't be able to like show you guys all the details of the bigger one and. I don't know, I just love it so much. I wish I had made a couple of more to, to decorate with. But it's so cute. Yeah, so we have a few fun snacks. We have that cute thing. Um, this guy right here is my favorite cheese ball in the world. And guys, it is so easy. I'm going to tell you right now how you make it. You get two blocks of cream cheese, soften it up, and I mix this just with my hands. You can totally use your kitchen egg. Soften it up, and then you get two cups of cheddar cheese, so sharp cheddar cheese, two packets of ranch powder. Mix it all together. That's it. That's it? It is so oh, good. Oh, it's, I can't wait. Me and Beck have been waiting to dive into a little uh, snowman there. Yeah, um, side note, we did push a lot for a couple of reasons. We wanted plenty of time to do all this with you, but we also wanted plenty of time to eat snacks afterwards. It's, it's true. It's 100% true. <laughs> it's true. So fun. Um, I was thinking, this, you know, this would be really fun with like a bacon um, scarf. Come that would be cute. That too, and it would be really yummy. Anyway, we have peppercorn for his eyes and his buttons and his mouth, a little piece of pepper for the nose, and then the pepper stem is his hat. It's How the cutest. It's so cute. And of course, pretzels. Then we have our cute little Christmas tree here, which of course is just made from broccoli. And I love red bell pepper, so that's why I made the garland out of the bell pepper. And then we have pretzels for the stem there. And guys, this is like a finger food heaven. I'm a massive finger food fan. And it's healthy. And it's healthy. Which yeah. is good. Yeah, so you could definitely do a dip with this or something like that. 
I also um, you could use like cherry tomatoes if red bell peppers are not your thing. You could cut them up really small and do that. Anyway, super cute. And we have some comments of them not being able to hear you good. I don't know if Santa needs to go off or if, I don't know. Maybe Is we're just too close to Santa. I'm just not loud enough. Because I feel like I'm yelling at you, but I can be louder. Or let us I know. Turn Santa off. No. Yeah, you let me know. Let us know, guys. Anyway, yeah. we have this guy right here. These are so fun. They're Grinch inspired. Uh, little kebab sticks. How fun is this? We have our green grape. We have a slice of banana. We have a uh, strawberry that I capped. And guys, my strawberries that I got were like all wonky shaped, so I had to really cut these up. But it's okay. And then we have a mini marshmallow, and that was super easy, super cute, and pretty healthy. So I love that too. And then over here, we have this cake. I pre bought this cake. No, that's okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But it looks really yummy. It does. It looks really yummy. Anyway, and then we have this cute little cake topper here that we've cut out of craft board. So several layers of craft board that we have layered and, and HTV together. Not HTV, ATG. ATG. <laughs> oh, those letters and everything. Anyway, ATG together. And then we have vinyl um, cut out of or used our cut files to cut with. And then, what's the front of it? Cardstock? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't see it. Yep. Cardstock. And then we have dowel rods on the back that we have put um, into the cake. So that's super cute. I'm gonna come around here. After I trip over everything. Um, then we have our invitation. This is just a cute, fun, print and cut invitation that we did. I did all of mine on Illustrator just because when you get that many different elements into design space, sometimes um, it's a little bit slower, but uh, you can totally do it in design space. Anyway, we just used all the Makers Gonna Learn fonts, um, some super fun cut files and print and cut. This adorable envelope is also a Makers Gonna Learn cut file, so that's really cute. And I said it on the live last time, I didn't realize that you could cut a 5 by 7 envelope out of a 12 by 12 piece of uh, cardstock, but you totally can. Life changing. Yeah, absolutely. And we do have a couple of questions. Okay. Number one, guys, uh, no, we are not mocked up. If you see us ever filming with the phone, nobody's mocked up. So we apologize. Please bear with us. It's like one in 50 lives that we don't have a mock. So just kind of be nice or you'd be be cool be cool it's okay um also miss becca how did you not get brown gunky stuff on your bananas after you cut them someone was wondering how you kept them fresh they're getting brown and gunky okay well yeah. okay yeah i cut them this morning at 8 a.m and they're getting brown and gunky okay so i definitely if i had to do it over again would probably have waited a little bit longer however i've been busy 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 filming all day some member only videos for you guys so we had to do it first thing this morning. And what font is happy birthday? Can you give them a guess? I'm going to guess it's Becca no. or Max Patch. Okay. Max Patch. Max Patch. It's my current favorite. It it's changes cute. all the time. It's cute. I love it. Super fun. Yeah. I've used it a thousand times. Um, let's see. Now that we're in the middle of this, I do want to talk to you guys really quick. It is July 1st, and so we're definitely celebrating summer over here at Makers Gonna Learn. And one thing that we're doing to celebrate is doing a massive sale, like really big sale. We don't do this a whole lot, um, but our yearly membership is $30 off right now for you guys. Our summer summit is also $30 off for you all, which is an amazing deal. And you can use code what? Flash 30. Flash 30. <laughs> Flash 30 to get $30 off both of those. Um, I don't know. Do we have, we don't have a description yet, right? Yeah, we have okay. one. Yeah, so there's there. probably a link in the description for um, membership and for the summit. You can go ahead and click that and then at checkout, make sure that you add that promo code Flash30 to get $30 off. Um, our yearly membership is amazing. You have access to all of the cut files and fonts that you see in these projects here. You have access to member only videos in our private Facebook group, which you also have access to. You have access to three free e-courses that are amazing and help you just build your business through Die Cut Machine, help you learn Cricut, help you learn Design Space, um, amazing courses that are very beneficial for you guys. Uh, free commercial license, am I leaving anything out? You've covered a lot of the bases. Lots I think, of stuff. I I think like you I'm got it. a mile a minute for you all, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Anyway, so take advantage of that amazing um, 
code. I don't know how long it's going to be active, honestly. Um, so, who knows? Yep. Go ahead and take advantage of it. And we have a friend that says, finally joined and got the membership. I love it so much. Yes. Happy, happy crafting. So wonderful. Welcome to the NGL community. We're excited to have you. And Miss Barbara says, to keep bananas from turning brown, put them in lemon juice before you add them on the decoration, oh, on those little stick there. That's some great information. Does it change Good the tip. flavor of them at all, Miss Barbara? I am curious. I love lemon, but I know some people don't. Good question. That's Good a, question. That's great. It that's is. Great. Yeah. Okay. So back to some of our crafts. We have this super cute felt sign, and I was going to make that today for you guys, but I've opted for another option. Um, so yeah, that's just Benzy felt. We love Benzy felt. Um, some white palms, print and cut. Is there HTV on there too? The printable yeah. HTV. Mm -hmm. So it, this is and the white HTV, mm -hmm. and then this is printable, and then we just painted a dowel rod. Guys, I think this is one of my new favorite colors, and I actually hate orange. This is acrylic paint, and the color is poppy. It's I more. It's it. more corally to me. Yeah. You know, it's cute. But it works. It totally works yeah. with this. And Miss Michaela, I'm so sorry. Uh, thanks for asking again with uh, me holding the camera and everything, the phone. It's harder to read comments, so thank you so much for yes, asking again. For sure. Where do you buy craft boards, she asks. Um, we can ours from Amazon. We can definitely drop a link if we don't already have one. Um, it's Cricut brand craft board, and you can get an all natural, or you can get like a neutral pack, which was black, white, and natural. Um, you can get like metallic, so. Is it just gold? You can get just gold and then you can get like a multi pack. Yeah, like red and green and stuff. Do. I don't know if it is in craft stores. I haven't really looked, to be honest, with Amazon being so convenient. We always just order from Amazon. It's not in our local Hobby Lobby because I did look for my personal craft room. Um, but of course, you can get it at Cricket's website as well. Um, Amazon is just our favorite because we have yeah. Prime and free shipping and all of that stuff. So. True, true. Good question. Question. Fantastic. My favorite thing, Becca, is how you did the top, how you cut that slit in there. Yeah. That's really cute. Yeah, so, like, I haven't done that before, but all I did was just take a rectangle and go in there and distribute, what are they, one, two, three, four of them so that they were evenly spaced out and then slice them out um, so that we do that. But, yeah, I really love that, too. Thank you. I wanted to see the poppy dowel rod through it more. Yeah, we got to order some more of that paint. We do. It's so cute. Yeah, I love it. I'm trying to, like, I need to find out if Courtney hates it or loves it. You guys know that Courtney hates red. So it's really funny because I found myself in my personal life, like, not choosing red just because I'm so used to it. And red is one of my favorite colors. I think red's pretty. Yeah, I love red. Okay, so what else do we have? Oh, our waters. Look how cute these are, guys. And this is so easy. It's literally just a print and cut. And, um... I, I did hot glue them on the back, and you can see I did a pretty terrible job right there concealing it. But Shame, Becca. That's it. Party over. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I hot glued it because it just stays on better. So anyway, we have a print and cut. I think I got probably eight of these out of one sheet because I made them narrower. You know, in, in the past, I've tended to make them wide, but I made them narrower so that we can get more on there. I think that's good. But I really like yeah. it. Super cute. So cute. Um, and guys, when you put these labels on your water bottles, make sure they are room temperature and have no condensation on them so that it doesn't ruin your labels. So that is one thing I don't love about doing something like this. Um, you can't have cold, cold water unless you seal your labels, which I did not do. So you can get a um, polyurethane or uh, like a poly spray and spray it on there, and that helps a whole lot if you want a cold water. Great idea. Just spray the back and the front. You mm -hmm. should be good to go. Yeah. That'd be awesome to test out. Now, the poly d can make your white cardstock yellow, so make sure that you're not over polying and polying. I've made up a verb. That's it. Yeah. Polying. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, you don't want it to be yellow. And then we have this cute sign, which is also a print and cut, and we have a dowel rod that we've painted to reflect the North Pole vibe. Um, and just tied it on there. I don't know, guys. There's no wrong way to decorate when you are having a super fun party. I think everyone just loves any effort that you give. But I will say, don't sweat the small stuff. I have done lots of parties in the past where I spent a lot of time on teeny tiny details and no one even noticed them. So only do things that like are really kind of in your face. You're going to see them. People are going to notice them. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time. 
Yeah, I know we're all our own worst critics, but I, you know, people probably will not notice the little things that we obsess over. Yeah. I have so many friends, and especially, I mean, that's applicable to all parties, and even weddings. Like, I have friends who obsess over little things in their wedding or spend a ton of money on little things, and I'm like, why? No one's going to notice that. True. Oh, and for everyone just joining, I'm just going to show a big, yeah. wide angle of this, how beautiful this party is. So fun. cute. Becca's worked so hard on it. It's so cute. And the other things that we have here, we have a fun hat that we've cut out. This is a cut file, the hat is. Um, it's a print and cut, but I just changed it from print and cut to cut lines so that it would cut out of just cardstock. And then I did a print and cut sticker on there and just hot glued these fun little um, balls on them, pom-poms. And then we have these cute little stockings. Oh my, well, for, for favors, mm -hmm. these are just- Party favors. The cutest. Fun party ever. favors. And you could, if you wanted to be super extra, I said this on the live too, customize these so that each uh, attendee has a special one. And we have... Oh my goodness. These stickers. These sticker sheets are so much fun. And if you've noticed, our Christmas in July um, has... Our Little Mermaid is black, solid black, like hair, face, everything. There's no distinction. And so I've created these fun little ones that actually have faces and bras and all of that fun stuff. I believe the correct term is bikini top. But, you know. You know, that's okay. <laughs> Covering. They're covered. My mermaid's wearing a bra. Oh, well. Oh, well. So we have that's so cute. I don't see any. I hope people start asking them, though. Yeah. No problem. This is going to be a shorter live. Uh, for one, poor Rachel's arms. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know. I'm like looking at the phone. I would be like, Hurr. I'm just glad right. Becca understands. Yeah. It, it's a struggle. It's not like it's <laughs> the worst part of my day, but I mean, it gets you. Okay, so one thing that I did want to talk about um, when you're planning a party, especially if it's for kids, then you might want to do an activity with the kids. And so since this is a Christmas in July themed party, I thought, why not paint some cute ornaments? So, and if you actually do this at Christmas, during Christmas, you might not, like, you might not be able to send the kids outside to work off their energy or right. anything like that, so they need to have an activity. Yeah. So, we have these cute little, they're just wooden rounds. Um, they're three-inch wooden rounds. I don't even know where they're from. I have no idea, but they're very thin. And then we just drilled a hole in them so that we can make them into ornaments. And then my recommendation is just to have some fun paints, some paint brushes um, for the kids to paint with. So cute. I did my best to make these look like children paintings. Miss Oma B said, you've worked very hard, Becca. This is a gorgeous party. Thank you. That's so sweet. Anyway, so we're painting these ornaments. Um, if you do something like this, make sure you either provide smocks or large t-shirts for your kids to wear or kind of let their parents know in advance so that they send them in clothes that they don't mind to get ruined. Great tip. Um, also, my other recommendation, have you know, individual plates and sort of like sets for the kids. So for instance, I would have a plate and I would have my ornament and I would have some paint brushes and maybe just individual little things of a couple of paints. Um, that way each kid has their own and you're not having to deal with that the day of. And then my other recommendation is to either have a heat gun or a hair dryer so that you can dry these for a couple of reasons. One, no parent wants to bring home a wet project in their car and worry about it getting hang everywhere. Two, I want to add vinyl to these when I'm done. So they need to be dry. Um, so that is going to be what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it would be to customize these at a party. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So cute. And Miss Becca, Michaela says, Becca, I'm making your baseball wreath today. How fun. Make sure you post a picture. Please do, Michaela. Yeah. We want to see it. So uh, we've had some comments that we don't use our joy. We're using our joy today, friends. Here she is. We're using our joy, and you could use your joy for a project like this too. So, what we're gonna do? I have my phone here, and I went ahead and and, and uh, did it in Design Space. So, you turn it around here so that you can see. Um, I just put in a circle there in Design Space that is three inches because that's the size of our uh, ornament here. And then, guess what font I'm using? Max yeah. patch. Yep. And it matches <laughs> then. Match. Then it all matches. It match. 
So then I've just added the fonts. Um, you could curve the text. You can't actually do it on Design Space for your mobile device, but if you had your computer out, you could curve the text and do something on the bottom. If the kid has like a tree like this and wants to put, you know, curve text on the top or the bottom, either one. Um, otherwise, you would have to ungroup these and manually place each one, which is not a horrible deal, but I really wish you could curve on Design Space for mobile devices. Unfortunately, they haven't updated that. But side note, guys, they have added my delete button back into Design Space, so in my opinion, all is right in the world. Anyway, um, all we're going to do is just press make it. Well, hold on. Let's get rid of that circle first. Now we're going to press make it. And we're going to be using the mat. Sorry, I'm trying to read upside down. Press continue. Um, hold on. Let's we got to see if the joy's on. We gotta and Miss... Grandma's Gone Crafty, which is a great YouTube it's handle, yeah. said, made labels with the joy don't wash well. Help. So, if you made, uh, what, iron-on labels or vinyl labels, let us know. Give us a little more information, uh, and we'll love, we'd love to help you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, I connected. I had to go into my Bluetooth settings and make sure I was connected. Pressing continue again. And Becca, Jen says, this is making me in the mood for Christmas music. Do you have any recommendations? You have any Christmas music recommendations? I'm blanking. My Ring? Christmas playlist has over 200 Christmas songs on it. Oh my gosh, and you're blanking? Because I love Christmas music so much. I listen to Christmas music 365 days a year because it's just on my playlist. My kids... <laughs> it's hysterical. Uh, Christmas. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna sound terrible because I can't remember his name, but I'm blanking. Who is the old, the older dude that sings a lot of the Christmas music? That's super, super famous, and I can't remember him. Bing Crosby. Is he sing Christmas no, music? No, I don't know. I'll have to let you know. Sorry. Holiday. Linda, if I tell you something, you're gonna you're gonna be. Oh, Michael Bublé's Christmas is good. Oh, I do like Michael Bublé. Uh, she says, "Hey, sweet Rachel, Amazon has tripods for an iPhone." Miss Linda Tanner doesn't allow us to use tripods when we film like this because it's a good it's a good reason. He wants us to be able to get up close and personal when with the crafts that we're doing, and when we have a tripod that's like literally stuck right here and Becca's trying to create something that's way over there, you wouldn't be able to see it well. So without a tripod, you can kind of, you know, move it all around. Um, but we also tried to get the stabilizer thing. It didn't work either. It was, oh, it was a mess. It was a mess. It was a mess. I'm going to have to just get back to you on that Christmas playlist. People are commenting some time. names for her, though, okay. so that's good. Michael Bublé is one of my favorites, for sure. I also like uh, Kelly Clarkson did a decent one. Oh, oh, Celine Dion's Christmas. Look, it's all coming back to her. Good. It's all coming back Dolly to her. Dolly Parton, of course. I mean, I'm from East Tennessee. She grew up like 30 minutes from here. I feel like we're cousins. Anyway, hers is amazing. Uh, yeah, definitely good. What was I doing? And Miss Poppet Productions. Rachel, what do you consider old, LOL? He's, um, he's... Older than you. Well, it, old, uh, I don't know. He's older. Um, I can see his face in my head, but I don't know. If you said his name, I would know who it was. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't Frank matter. Sinatra it's Frank Sinatra. He's old. That's it, Becca. He's also dead. It's Frank Sinatra. I thought he was dead, but I didn't want to say he was dead and just get people fired up. <laughs> but uh, I didn't know. Okay, so we're choosing premium vinyl because that's what we're going to be using today. Somewhere I have... A drawer full of stuff for you all. Look at me being prepared. I don't know why I do that. It's Frank Sinatra. I'm so glad you you figured it out. Yeah. It was Frank Sinatra. He's got a great voice. Had. <laughs> he, he does. He's probably in the Actually, I know nothing about Frank Sinatra. I don't uh, either. Although he is a very good. Anyway, I've got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking about that. <laughs> we were scared One to question. Join that here. Oh, I love it. <laughs> And then I'm going to cut this to size. Becca, we've gotten some comments of people that do not own Cricut Joys buying Cricut Joy mats, which I think is funny. Like Why? using for the card mat, the card mat on like the, the larger mats, you can like stick the card mat on the larger mats. 
Yeah. We've done that. Did we, we, do a video? we have. Tanner did, and indeed. Okay. So I didn't cut that good, but that's okay. Because I have... Look at her pouch. She's, <laughs> she's digging out of her pouch. Did that cut? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is your little fake blade getting dull, Becca? No, it's a stupid cricket one. <laughs> Which, granted, guys, she did. She's got some PTSD. Oh yeah. From like five minutes ago. Five minutes before the live. God love her. Oh, it's horrible. When you guys see that camping bucket craft, just just know it was edited really well. I'm joking. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> it was bad. Anyway. Now all we're going to do, it tells you step by step what to do on this guy, which is super fun. Uh, so we have premium vinyl selected. We're going to load the tools and the mat. Tool is already there. Now we're loading our mat. So as you can see, you don't have to push anything, which weirds me out a little bit. There are no buttons. Do you need to close the blade? Yeah, I do. Thank you. Thing's weird. Just gonna put that in. Takes it automatically and it's gonna cut it really fun. Guys, you know I still have never used the Cricut Joy. And then you tap go down here because there's no go button, so you just tap go there. And look at those preparing. Let us so know if you have any other questions, guys. Yeah, as fun as that sure. Christmas music one, for sure. Yeah, I like that. Glad I thought about Frank Sinatra. I'm glad you remembered. I don't have Frank Sinatra's Christmas album, though. His voice is so good. So good. It's like an Elvis Presley. You just hear it, and you're like, oh, I know exactly who that yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. Um, Ooh, Becca. Miss Vicky says, have you done a tutorial on how to make those cute emoji stickers? I have. I have a whole member-only video on that. Are you a member, Miss Vicky? Um, if you are, go to our private Facebook group, Make Who's Gonna Learn, and look at, we have an album for member-only videos specifically, um, and it is definitely there. You'll see the thumbnail. It's our bigger maker that we use on lives mostly. Um, it's a picture of it, so... Super fun project. And Grandma's Gone Crafty, use smart labels vinyl. So, so you're not you really wash, supposed to yeah. wash that, yeah. especially if you don't seal that. Um, so no, that's not gonna hold up well at all. Just like a Cricut printable vinyl will not. Look, go look at my videos on how to make seal and apply vinyl decals, and that will give you some tips on how to seal that for you so that you can have some success. Also, thank you again for re-commenting. I am sorry, we're not at the top of our game today as uh, we're multitasking quite well, a bit. It's my fault. It's, no, it's not. <laughs> <clears throat> no, 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 it's Wait, my fault. That chocolate cake smells really good. Do you smell it? I do smell it. Oh, it smells so what good. What if I just, uh, I, I won't. I would, I, I won't. It. I'm really excited to die. I'll be like it. a one-year-old with that smash cake. Ooh, yeah. You know? So have good. Have you seen those pictures where, like, women turn 30 or 40 or whatever, and they have all the smash cake pictures and everything? I think it's called smashed cake. Oh, that's like, hilarious. It's hysterical. There's like a whole photo shoot on it. That sounds hilarious. Yeah. It kind of makes me want to do it. Oh, I would do it. I'm already past 30, so I'll have to wait till 40. We're almost there. I will say that Joy might take a little bit longer than the Air 2 or the Maker. What is your thought? Like me personally or them? You. Me? I think it's taking longer. I don't know, <laughs> though. It, it might not be. Anyway, I've, it's too it's it's way more portable than bringing your other stuff. I'm not saying that you can't bring your maker or you can't bring your whatever, but then I would have like this huge thing right here instead of just literally pulling it out of a drawer for you all. I don't know. Did you say it was say, quicker or slower? Did you say I, you I thought it was said quicker, but it's slower? Uh, okay. Yeah. I may have said quicker. I don't remember. You know how I get in the middle of this and then I say things and you're like, did you say blah blah blah? But I don't know either. I don't mean. But I call printed vinyl pattern vinyl. No, it was reversed. You call oh, pattern yeah, vinyl printed vinyl. Okay. Anyways. So we're finished. It's Look done. At this. We're gonna unload. It unloads it there. And you know what I didn't bring down here? A burnishing tool. You know what I'm gonna use? The end of this. So we're just gonna burnish. Use what you got, Becca. And Miss Michaela, Rachel, you sound stuffy. Are you getting summer or cold allergies? Miss Michaela, thank you for asking. Thank you for really noticing. But we do live in East Tennessee, and also I went and babysat my goddaughter last night, and her parents have two cats and two dogs, both of which I am allergic to. So uh, I got really, I got really wadded up. I haven't. I haven't. She's not pregnant. No, I'm not, I'm not pregnant. No. But you want you? Do you want me to tell him, Becca? Okay, guys. 
for the first time. I'll, I'll announce it. Me and James, my husband, on August 7th are going to pick up our first little puppy. He is an Italian Greyhound. We named him Lenny. Guys, so it's it's pretty cute. It's it's pretty cute. So um, I haven't told anybody really. You better believe he's gonna come to work, and I'm so excited. I said, wait, it's like a work animal, but not because he's Rachel. Right, right. But I'm super excited. I'm excited too. I'm super excited for the puppy. Guys, he's so cute. Rachel showed me an updated picture of him yesterday. How old is he, Rachel? He right now he's three weeks old. He's little. Oh my god, he's so stinking cute. Thank you. Okay. We got that there. Did I make these too big? No, you might you sized them in there. <laughs> oh, Becca. What sauce did you put in there? You erased it. Oh my Go god. back to the saved project. Like X out of the hole. Oh wait, there it is. Whoops. What is it? Four inches. Oh, and these are three? Oh. Yeah, no big deal. No big deal because Beckett sometimes goes by Be Beck. Beck and Foul. Beck and Foul. Beck and Foul. That's what we're Becca, for. we're going to just roll right with this. Guys, that's, you know, I did this beforehand. I don't know how I sized it wrong, though. I did it beforehand instead of right now, and I should have done that. That's what happens, but that's okay. We're going with Beck and Foul. So we've got that, we're gonna burnish that on there. And th we got a good question from Miss, um, oh wow, Tired Mama. That, Me yeah. too. Becca, I'm sure feels that. I have the opportunity to get a 12 by 12 easy press. I think you mean 10 by 12, mean 10 by 12, that's the largest one, as a reward from work. Do you need that size often or should I get something else as a reward? Do you have it, is it a money thing? like? If you have another reward that's like awesome as well, I do you personally have a, do you have an easy press. That's a good question first, yeah. Cuz if you don't get one if you don't have one, but we use our mini way more than any of them. I personally use the 10 by 12 the least amount. I've probably touched it once this year. Um and that's just because it's it, it's really big and it's not ideal on projects except for like t-shirts that's about it so, well and that's what i was going to say for my personal craft room at home i have the 10 by 12 and i have a mini easy press so those are my my two mm -hmm. um that i prefer because i do a lot of shirts yeah so if i didn't do shirts i would not have a need for that big one by yeah. any means the the mini is way more versatile in my opinion i use it all the time but if the rest of the um you know, if the rest of the stuff isn't that great that your work's going to give you, by the way, that's amazing that your work is going to give you that as a reward anyways. Yeah, my work doesn't give me one. But, <laughs> right, be, oh my gosh, Becca. That's hilarious. So there's Beck there. So cute. We just, uh, what did I do with, oh, Fowl's over here. We're so cute. There. That's cute. Look, guys. Max. That's so cute. Now, this is something a parent would want to take home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. I mean, I would. Okay. Let's get that on there. We're not putting Mary on there because we could put Mer. Mer. <laughs> Mer. Mer. <laughs> do we have, do we have any, how many viewers do we have? 111 right wow. now. Yeah. Wow. My, uh... Cricket here, cut through this. I, I hate Cricket vinyl. Oh, I hate Cricket vinyl. Guys, she was talking on the video today. I can't wait for y'all to see it. It's really weeded great for me, guys. Well, it did, and then I had a lot of curse words come out of my mouth. That's okay. Yeah. Cra That's crafting fun. brings out the best in us, Becca. Yeah. Sure does. Oh, but I forgot to, to preface that. I was talking about how allergic I am to dogs and cats, but... Uh, Lenny is hypoallergenic and very short haired. And I went and met him and, and the uh, lady I'm getting him from has like 30 of them. And I didn't so much as get a tickle in my throat. So um, I think I'm good to go with him. Ta-da! Oh, I love this what one too. That? Foul. And then if you wanted to, I'm not sure if I can get it in there or not. But just put like a little bit of twine on there. Shoot, whatever you got handy. Becca, this looks like a happy accident. Right? Mm-hmm. Agreed. 
so cute. Snip that off there. How fun is that? That was so quick and so easy Love and it. super fun. And honestly, like if you wanted to kind of forego, um, some people go crazy with party favors, but if you wanted to forego going crazy with them and just do something simple like what I did, this honestly could just count as your party favor in my opinion. Oh, I think so. If you're taking it home, it's a favor. Well, you have to have a party favor. No, right, 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 right. Kim's like party favors. They do, you know. And this one's pr more practical than a lot of the other ones I've seen, you yeah. know. Anyway, so fun. So cute. But guys, that's it. I don't know. Y'all have any questions? Y'all? Y'all? Y'all have any questions? If not, then we're going to end this party. Yeah. And eat some, eat some cake. We are. We are. We're going to eat all of this. Yeah. Because it's just me and Becca here. Yeah. Um, Miss Linda said, what are the coasters? Which I think she means the, those. Yeah. These are three inch, not four inch, like I put in there. Um, just discs. They're wood. I honestly think this is from a summit that we did. It was. We ordered it like 800 have, of them. We have easily 150 up there. Easily. <laughs> you know, it was like. Let's just use these for this argument because I thought it was perfect yeah. for that. Yeah, yeah, they're wood though. They're just little yeah. thin wood. Like, See how thin they are? Coasters, though. You could. You could like, buy them in coasters or... are four inches. Uh, I know that because I made some coasters. Yeah. So. so, guys, remember what I was talking about earlier. If you haven't um, already become a member of Makers Gonna Learn, we would love to have you as part of our wonderful family. And I did mention earlier, we do have that awesome, awesome sale going on, $30 off our membership using code FLASH30. Uh, so take advantage of that. We would love to have you packing with us every single day here at, well, every weekday here at Makers Gonna Learn, um, both organic and live videos. And tomorrow, Rachel, ooh, we got, we got a lot of cut calls coming out. We do. So we have a normal lunch. Which was like a curated, uh, no, 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 it wasn't curated. It was, it's member only. Mm -hmm. So member only. Um, member requested. Member requested, yeah. mm -hmm. member choice, that type of thing. So there's awesome, like a very col uh, eclectic collection of them. And then I made 30-ish cut files and added to that. And then we have another fun surprise. So honestly, it's like the equivalent of three cut file launches. It tomorrow. really is. You guys are spoiled. Yeah, you got, it's gonna be amazing. And so all members have access to all of those cut files that will be here tomorrow, uh, both in, monthly and yearly. So anyway, Rachel's gonna be doing the live with us tomorrow and um, talking about all of the cut files and showing you guys the awesome projects that we did with them. It's about 1.30, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. Come crack live with us tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard and see all of the fun stuff that is going on here at Makers and Alburn. Here's one last recap. And then we're out if you don't have questions. I wish they'd roll in. Rolling in, rolling in. I wish you'd roll on in, guys. That's it, no. though. Right, no, nothing. Thanks so much. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you guys tomorrow.